welcome back to Bite Size Laws of Science. Have you ever noticed that when you push something, the heavier it is, the harder it is to push, and the slower it goes? But how much harder do you have to push? How much slower does it go? People have asked these questions for thousands of years. Lucky for us, our friend Sir Isaac Newton came up with his second law of motion, and those questions were finally answered. I'm going to warn you up front, there's a little math in this one. No, 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 don't click away. Well, it's based on math. We're going to do the whole thing without using any numbers at all. Deal? Okay. Newton's second law is force equals mass times acceleration, or F equals MA. That may look confusing, but it's not about the math. It's all about the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. The math is only there to show you that relationship. And it's telling you things like, if an object is changing speed or direction, or accelerating, how can you tell how much force is acting on that object? Let's look at some examples, and it will make a lot more sense. Anytime you have an equation like F equals MA, you can think of it like the two sides of the equal sign are balanced on a seesaw. It's all balanced, but what happens if we make the F bigger? Now it's unbalanced because the F side is heavier. How do we balance that out again? We make the MA side bigger to match. We can do that a couple of ways. We can make the M a lot bigger, or we can make the A a lot bigger, or we can make them both a little bigger. So what does that mean? If we make force bigger, we have to make either mass or acceleration bigger. Let's say you're pushing a wagon. The force you're using is equal to the mass of the wagon times its acceleration. Then you make the force bigger by pushing harder. The mass of the wagon doesn't change, so the equation has to stay balanced. So the acceleration has to go up to keep it balanced. That's just a sciencey way to say that if you push harder on the wagon, it will speed up. Another example would be if you put something heavy in the wagon, that makes the mass go up. If the force stays the same, the acceleration has to go down to match. Again, that's a sciencey way to say that if you push on something that gets heavier, it'll slow down. I know this sounds like a lot, but it's really pretty simple. One good way to think about it is that if you want to increase acceleration, and who doesn't want to increase acceleration? You have two ways to do it. You can decrease mass or you can increase force. Both work to get the job done. This equation gives us a fundamental understanding of the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. Newton was pretty smart. The math part tells us more exactly that if you double the mass, you cut the acceleration in half. If you double the acceleration, then you cut the mass in half. There are lots of variations to these relationships, but that's what's important. The relationships, not the math. Let's look at an experiment that shows this relationship in action. We built these rocket sleds to do some experiments. There's a link in the description on how to build your own. We use the rocket sled to show the relationship between mass and acceleration. When me and my little brother sat in the sleds and pushed off on each other, we had the same force applied to us, but he accelerated at a much greater rate than I did because he has less mass. When I did the same thing with my dad, I accelerated a lot faster because I had less mass than he does. Whoever had the least mass would always accelerate more because of Newton's second law. This discovery was key to being able to calculate almost everything that moves around us. If you want to make a car accelerate faster, you have to either make the engine apply more force or you have to reduce the mass. Doing either of those will make the car accelerate faster. It also helps rocket scientists calculate the force needed to get a rocket to hit its target. It even helps them understand how as the rocket burns fuel and its mass goes down, the acceleration will change as well. All of this from a simple equation of force equals mass times acceleration. I don't know about you, but I think this is pretty cool. Keep an eye out for how this equation is in action all around you all the time, and let me know what you see. If you make a video about it, let us know in the comments below, and we'll add it to a playlist of Newton's second law observations. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more cool science videos, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!